when you're teaching the law of body, make sure you teach the context of the game. Because it has a lot of context. You want to make sure you teach them to use it in the right situation and not just use it. I, use, I do a side, side demonstration. So I show them the grip. I talk to them about the context. And then I feed a ball and I want to demonstrate the context. My players are visual learners, so it really helps them to do this drill. Some people are kinesthetic. They need feel. You have to actually put them through the motions of doing it. The progression is very simple. We start from the service line. I feed them shots. My students already know how to volley, sort of. So I teach them just lob body. And a lot of people argue with me, why do you teach a lob body? You need to teach a drop volley and a lob volley. Because the drop shot adds touch to their game. The lob volley does the same thing. It teaches them where their racket face is. It teaches them how much weight is being transferred into the ball. It teaches them um, racket control. So that it improves their feel on the racket. Which will improve their shot selection and and shot making. However, be careful. Very firm rule. No lob volleys on a ball chest high. That is the key. Do not let them lob volley on ball chest high because then you can smack that ball. And if you're in an offensive positioning and you hit a defensive shot such as a lob volley, you're in trouble. It can be have offensive methods because you can do a drop shot and then hit the ball, come to the service line and hit a lob volley. So it has application offensively. If you get down really low by net and you have a really dipping ball, you need to know how to open the face of the racket up to get the ball back into the court. You know, you need to have that feel, and that's the value in the teaching the lob body. Lastly, as you move further and further back, the hardest to struck the ball is the hardest to lob body. But you've seen my matches, and there are situations where I lob body, I'm out position, or I'm running for a ball back, I hit a lob body. It gives you time. So you need to learn this defensive shot to complete your development as a player, to give you touch on your racket and feel, and you also need to know the context of when to use a shot.